Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness with Breast Cancer Answers, and today I'm welcoming Andre DeFusco, CEO of Sinvinio Biosystems. Andre, I'm anxious to hear about your new technology, which I believe may be available right now. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you, Jay. Uh, so, uh, Sinvenio is a new cancer diagnostics company. Uh, we've been focused on transforming cancer treatment and its management through the molecular analysis of tumor biomarkers in blood. We call it liquid biopsy, and the part that applies to breast cancer is called clear ID. Wow, that's exciting. Now, what are markers, and what's DNA for our viewers of, of this video? Well, DNA is, uh, is the chain of life. It's what, uh, it's what defines us as a species, and uh, we look for rearrangements in that DNA uh, that are typically the hallmarks of cancer. We look for defects in the DNA that bring on disease. And your initial effort, I believe, is going to be in breast cancer. So as we talk about this uh, initially now, how do you see it being used in breast cancer patients? Yeah, I see it being used at uh, every stage of the cancer treatment cycle, from diagnosis right through to treatment, right through to when patients are in remission. It's a regular blood test. So in time, we think it'll just be a standard way of monitoring what is going on in a patient, how they're responding to drugs, and checking to make sure that they're completely cured and there's no more disease. Wow, that's interesting. So if there is a recurrence of disease, then there can be an uptick of cells that we see in circulation. Is that correct? We see an uptick of cells in circulation. We're big believers in early detection. So that would be a, a red flag for the physician uh, to implement the standard of care, to take a much closer look uh, at that patient and to monitor them uh, very closely for disease recurrence. Very good. Now, I'm sure people are wondering, wow, I've got breast cancer or a family member has breast cancer. How do I learn more about this test and how do I find out where it's available? We're building a network of doctors across the country, 40 initially. Uh, the test is available now. We're going to be advertising and, and uh, at least getting the information out through these physicians. Um, people can also come to our website, which is synvenio.com. And then we'll be getting the word out through patient advocacy groups as we uh, uh, talk to them and brief them in the months to come. And with any new technology, Andre, there's always the cost issue. And I'm, I, my thinking is that probably initially at least, since it's not currently routine, it probably won't be covered by insurance. How do you envision uh, patients having access? Well, we've talked about the access, but having to pay for this. Uh, share more with us, please. Yes, uh, current, you're right. Uh, the test today is a self-pay test. Um, in time, we think it will be covered by uh, most insurance. Um, we are talking to the payers today. It takes a few years for them to come around to uh, reimbursing for new technology. It's uh, typically been uh, uh, true of every new test, especially the molecular ones. Um, so I think that within uh, 12 to 18 months, we'll see reimbursement for this. Oh, very good. Now, I'm sure that some of the patients or women who are watching this video are thinking, gosh, I'm in my chemotherapy treatment right now. Do you envision this test being utilized during active treatment? Uh, we've seen that doctors uh, like to have a real-time snapshot of what is going on in their patient, especially because it's a blood draw. So if they want to monitor a patient's response to certain targeted therapies that they have, uh, they're on, uh, this is a great way to do it. Uh, they do it maybe with a monthly blood draw um, and then make their decisions accordingly. Well, I've got to tell you, as a guy who's been in the field of breast cancer for 28 years, I'm excited about what's going on. I see this as the real future of all cancer treatment. Do you want to comment any further? Well, I think, Jay, that uh, the molecular revolution is upon us. And I think the fact that it can be done in blood uh, makes it accessible to a lot of physicians and a lot of patients. And I think for breast cancer patients in particular, um, th this is a tremendous step forward. I don't think um, there is really any reason for somebody to have a massive surprise in terms of their health care. They can monitor their health with a blood draw, they can take action, and they can work in partnership with their physicians to make sure that they stay healthy. Wow. Well, I really agree. I look forward to having my patients come forward asking for this technology, being available to provide it uh, to patients. He's Andre DeFusco, CEO of Sinvinio Biosystems. Thanks so very much for being with us today.